With the release of OS X Mavericks, Apple really hit home in one of their features called multiple displays. And what multiple displays can do is it can open up full screen apps, of course, and you can still use your secondary desktop if you have multiple displays, which us power users, as they would call us, would like to have two displays and have two displays and we use them every day. But some of the features that were bad with a secondary display is you can't have the dock over on your secondary display. And I actually thought that that was really cool when I read text on Apple's website that said each display has its own menu bar and the dock is available wherever you need it. No configuration required. So I went in deep in some of these settings in OS X and I really couldn't figure out how to switch a dock. I went into the dock, read all about it, of course, OS X Mavericks just came out, so no one really knows uh, there was betas, but still, I couldn't find any, informa any information how to switch the dock from one computer to the next. When I stumbled across something that kept happening to me. So when you have your mouse on the screen, I hope you guys can see it. Um, when you have your mouse on your screen and you pull downward, like you're just going to keep, you know how you scroll down? If you scroll all the way down and keep going, your dock appears. Um, so I'll just keep doing that. I uh, hope you guys can see my mouse right there. Drag it down, and then the dock appears there. And I'll just do it one more time. So drag it down there, and the dock appears. So it's really easy, really simple. And I just thought I'd share this with you guys because they say it's super easy, no configuration required, except they don't say how to do it on their website or anything like that. So I thought you guys should be the first people to know how to do it if you guys didn't know how to do it anyways. Mavericks is free, so if you guys want to update it, I'll have a video down in the description. It's really easy to download it, but just a, a, like a tutorial on how to do it. Make it your life uh, a little bit easier, I hope. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my channel for more tech-related videos like this. If you guys have any questions about features in OS X Mavericks that you don't understand or that... <laughs> Apple talked about and just didn't show you how to do, leave a comment down below and I'm interested to hear um, what it is that you guys don't know how to do and I'll try to answer all the questions if I do know how to do them. I'm really going over OS X Mavericks extensively in my research, finding all the ins and outs to it. Peace out.